If you're still dragging and dropping one product image at a time for your listing photos, you're wasting hours. Let me show you the Canva Sheets trick that'll change your workflow forever. All right, so we are in Canva, and the first thing you want to already have pre-prepared is your mock-up listing photos, okay? So here we have mock-up listing photos for a chocolate bar wrapper. And so here I have 10 different mock-up listings. And the way you want to set this up is if you're going to have text on any of your mock-up listings, make sure you have that ahead of time. And then also where your mock-up photo is going to go inside of the listing. So here we just have some generic templates. So you already want to have this set up. Okay. Now, once you have all of your mock-up images set up, we are going to use these mock-ups as a template base for all of the product designs that we're going to create. So we're going to go back in Canva and you want to click on Canva Sheets. Right here is this blue white button and it says Sheet. You want to create new. All right, so once it opens up, <clears throat> it's going to have different templates that you can choose from. But for demonstration purposes, we're not going to use any of these templates. So we're just going to click that off. In our first box, we want to put a title. So we're going to say product image. So this is where we're going to put all of our images that are going to go on our mock-up photos. And then we also want to put for our text, I'm going to put product heading. Now, if you have if you have multiple lines of text, then you just would add more categories. But for now, we're just going to keep it as product image, product heading, and um, anything else. If you had other photos you want to list, you just want to add those on to the different categories. But we're just going to keep it simple for now, and we're just going to have just our images and our headings. So we're going to go over to uploads. You should have already uploaded your designs that you're going to put in your photos. So I have my designs already uploaded. So I'm going for demonstration purposes for the chocolate bar wrapper, I'm going to use four different designs. So I'm going to put in the first one and I'm going to put that under two. I'm going to put in the second one under a three. Next one, A4, and then the last one I'm going to do, I'm going to put under A5. And then here, we're going to put the actual um, heading that we want to put. So this first image is mermaid. So we're going to say mermaid party. All right. And then the second one, we can say something like star party. You want to just make sure whatever your headings are match your photo. So this third one is unicorn party. And then this last one is princess theme. So we're going to say princess party. Okay, so now that we have our product images listed in our headings, now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight everything. So I'm just going to put shift, highlight everything, and I'm going to click up here where it says actions. Under actions, I'm going to scroll down until I see bulk create. This is a pro feature. So you will need the pro version of Canva to use this. And we already have all of our data highlighted. So we're just going to click continue. Now it's going to ask us to choose our template. Now remember, we already made our 
mock-up. So here it's going to pop up under your design. So we're going to put, pick the mock-up that we made. And then they're all going to populate down here at the bottom. Okay. All right. So now that we have it here at the bottom, I want to go back to here. And now let me highlight this back. Go back to actions. We're just going to backtrack because we lost where we were at. All right. So now we want to, the third step is to connect our data. So we're going to go back to here and we're going to go to page two. And we're going to click on the image where we want our design to show up. You're going to click on it. You're going to click this button up here that says connect data. And then we're going to click product image. Remember, we put all of our images under this category. All right, now we have that label. And then we also need to connect the data for our heading. So I'm going to click on it and click connect data and we're going to click product heading all right so our first listing is ready to go and it keeps track at the bottom you see here it says create four designs remember we had four different photos that we want to mock up and then we're going to the second one same thing we're going to click on it click connect data click product image that's the category i'm going to go to the next one i'm going to click on this first image I'm going to click connect data product image and then you have to do the same thing for if you have two images on the same page same thing click on it click connect data product image and we're just going to keep doing it for each one click on it connect data product image go to our next photo connect data product image our next one, same thing, connect data, product image. All right, we're on listing eight. And then this one, I'm going to do the same thing, connect data, product image. This one has a heading, so we're going to click on that, connect data, product heading. Okay, so we're going to make sure we're matching them up properly. Again, here, I'm going to click on the first one, connect data, product image. Let me click on that second one, connect data, product image. Okay. If you don't connect both, if you have two images on one, if you don't connect both of them to a category, then it's not, the design is not going to populate inside the image. So here we have connect data, product image. And then here, since we have a title, we're going to click on it, click connect data, product heading. All right. And we're in our last one. I'm going to click on it, connect data, product image. All right, so we have all of our info connected. And now we can click create four designs. Then this tab is going to pop up. It's going to say view and folder. We're going to open it. All right, and let's click on our first one. So it's separated it for you. And so we have our first set of mockups. This is the one for the one we set star party. And look. All of our mockups. Now if I go back. I can check my next one. And you just want to make sure you label your files as well. This one is the princess party. So I would just look through, make sure they're all set to go. I mean, this literally took seconds. I'm going to go back. Let's look at our third one that we did. This is the unicorn party. Okay, and as you can see, 
it generated perfectly. Okay, and then let's look at our last one. This one is our mermaid party. So I just want to see. All right, so you see how easy that was? So over here in your files, you just want to make sure you label each one since it separates it for you. So for example, the first one was Star Party. So you would just click on this pencil and you would call it Star Party Chocolate Bar Mockups. And that way you'll know where your files are and then you can organize this inside your um, Canva account as well. And that is how you create bulk mockup using Canva Sheets. Okay, and then all of your files here pop up here as well. So you can just click on here and everything is in here. So this is a good way to keep all of your mockups nice and organized. It'll all pop up right here. So you can actually keep this sheet going for a while. So that's how you bulk create mockups in Canva sheets like a total pro. If this saved you even five minutes, imagine what your next upload day could look like. Hit like if this helped, subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one.